What's up my dogs, it's Dog Gaming here. Today we're going to be coming back with the Tyrant of Visual Novel. And before I start off this video, I want to say thank you guys for all the support that watch this series very often. I, I've noticed your support, but the only thing I ask from you is to share these videos and share this video so, we eat, so more people can watch these videos and watch the Tyrant of Visual Novel series I have. And to show it off show off the game and just let's just make this really big let's instead of let, instead of getting 47 views on i think the i 49 i think is the most views i have on one of them let's strive for 100 views or more so all of you guys that are loyal subscribers and loyal followers to the series share it on social media no matter if it's google plus twitter um anything so more people can see it and if you do i will thank you very i thank you very much comment down below if you do share it so i can say thank you and stuff so yeah let's get into it into it though so the question is how did they produce them without pre precise knowledge and on modern warfare sir edo do you have any clues is it possible that they got the, those cannons from the Republic sir this is very unlikely considering the treaty of truce between Tyrana and the UR the Republic is the second nation in the world in military ranking sir Edo if the UR really does support or Ordera by sending them artil artillery pieces to fight against us that is a sign of war Considering their current unstable government, I don't think they would want us to declare war on them. After all, their next elections in only a few in a, only in a few days. Sir, I think the Ordians might have stolen the automated cannons from the hands of the Republic. Nonsense. The UR is un has unpenetrable borders, almost like ours. How the hell could they get in and run away with the cannons? Whatever. Now that the guy's dead, we might never figure this out. Who cares? We have more important matter manner in our hands right now. Yes, my lord. We will continue our search. Good. Proceed as you will. As you wish. We got Yobot. Yobot looking so badass. <laughs> he does look really awesome. Oh my gosh. I just love Yobot. I love the robots in this. Like, I don't know if you know this about me, but I really like robots because robots are really cool. And I always really like new technology, like virtual reality and stuff like that. Except it's really expensive, which sucks. <laughs> my lord. Wait a little bit, soldier. I'm still thinking about how the Order and Army got those cannons. Sir, I just wanted to inform you that while you were out at the base with the Lord Wolf, one of our shuttles landed in. One of our shuttles? It was one of Lord Durham's shuttle to be precise. Lord Durham? Soldier, what is your name? Eric, sir. Eric, since when did I give you permission to grant his troops a landing platform? Pardon me, sir. The shuttle was sent by Lord Durham himself. Next time, tell his troops that he should contact me before landing one of his ships in my base. What the heck did you? What the heck did he want here anyway? My lord, his troops simply came to be investigated a little bit. What the? Why did you let them do so? My lord, I can't do anything against officers who are higher ranking than I am. What the heck is this troublemaker even doing? Oh, I skipped a little bit. I probably should have read. Dumbass. I know, sir. That means you don't have to listen to them. Even if every lord controls a different branch of the army, we don't work together. We all try to produce war machines for our, our own branch. After all, the best of the lords will be chosen by Overlord Julius to become the next ruler of Tyrana. 
it's sort of like if we were in competition against each other to see who can be the more powerful and, stra and strategic. We only work together in a large-scale operation against other nations when the Lithian himself orders us to. I get it, my lord. Just don't get intimid intimidated by Lord Durham's troops. Pardon me, my lord. It's all right. You can learn from your mistakes. Sir, yes, sir. Dismiss. Oh, I can't remember what the... <laughs> I can't remember what voice it did for Wolf. Uh... Okay, I, th I think I have an idea. I heard your conversation, Edo. Wolf. Mm. Do you know what happened here? What are you talking about? The suicide of the Orden Ar C Commander of the Shuttle of Lord Durham? Both. I don't have a clue for either of them. I just came in to tell you something. What is it, Wolf? Edo, you got an emergency call from the cap from the capital. By whom? Overlord Julius. What's the matter, Wolf? I don't I don't know. I was told that you need to hurry yourself to the capital now. Master Julius. Wolf, I'll go to the capital. You stay here and continue the search for the artifact. I don't know how long I have to stay in the capital. It may take a while depending on what is the case. Got it. I can take care of this base by myself. Good. I'm counting on you. Okay, let's see what happens. I'm interested. Okay, so now we're looking in this area near like where we met Julius and Lithian. Uh, okay. Master Julius, what is happening? Master Julius, are you in your room? Huh? The door isn't locked. Oh, snap. This is not good. What the? What is a knight doing here? He. He. Help. Help. Oh. Oh. Ah. What the heck? What the heck? What the heck is happening here? I'm assuming uh, Julius is stuck in here. What do you guys think? Oh, that's not good. My face. I saw a ghost. <laughs> not really. I just saw something happen. That was probably bad. Huh? What is happening? Blood? Wait. Oh. That thing. It's an artifact. Oh. Well, we need to get that artifact. Just. What the heck happened here? Wow, okay, so an artifact, okay. That's that came out. Oh the freaky night again. Oh my goodness. This is just taking over his body. It 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 started on his hand and then it went all the way to his wrist. Now it's all the way over here and now it's even going farther. It even was like a puzzle on his whole almost his whole chest now that I think about it does that mean of course this is the only beginning of it huh it will happen to me too 
After all, I accepted this fate a long time ago to lose my humanity for, for, what was it again? A greater good. All I know is that I'm doing this for Anadryl. I will avenge her death and claim black, claim, claim back what is, was ours to keep that promise I made to her that day. So this is this artifact is turning him into a knight. It looks like. Maybe. Ha 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 ha. It's funny when you think about things this way. He is going crazy. Edo's crazy. Slowly going crazy. Ooh, my eye. Oh. That's where I have the eye patch. Ah. People like me who have the power to control technology only to become what you control yourself. That is the fate that I have condemned myself to. A path of darkness only to bring light for the rest of the world. What were people like Julius and I called already? Okay. So, we just figured out lots of new things. William. Okay. Oh, yeah, William. Hmm. Looks like it has grown in you and entire, on your entire right arm. What is... What is? I'm not sure what caused it, it exactly. I'll need you. I'll need to see the inside of an of an artifact to know what is happening to you. All I know is that those black marks on your body caused by your artifact is definitely acting like a parasite. It's trying to spread all over you. Edo, since you are the wielder here, can you tell me if this artifact thingy has a conscience? A conscious? What do you mean? I mean, does this thing has a mind of its own? Actually, yes it does, but you don't know that. Sort of like any living beings. <laughs> How am I supposed to know that? Does this thing somehow communicates with you? I'm not so sure myself. Sorry, I'm not very helpful here. It's alright. Just come to see me every month so that I can inspect your condition. You can go now, Edo. That'll do for the day. William. What is it? I've been wanting to ask you this question for a long time, but I think I have the time, too. You know what I want to know, William? Why did you leave me that day? And what happened to Uncle? Edo, I left you because I had a dispute with Father. I wanted to study advanced science. We were lucky enough to live in dominance, the only country to share its borders with the two, great, two greatest nations, meaning that we were the only ones who could choose our fate. After all, Dominance was the most peaf peaceful country in the world. Because of that, both Tyrona and the UR accepted the people from Dominance to travel to their nation. That was, of course, before the Great War started. Father wanted me to go study in the UR. I wanted, I wanted to walk my own path. William, what's happened to Uncle? I don't know, Edo. Are you hiding something from me? All I know is that he wasn't a good father. After all, he didn't even let you call him father because you weren't his own son. William. Ed Edo. You know that is the truth. He never treated us equally. I still liked him. He was nice. No, he wasn't. Listen, Edo. I'm the only one who has considered you as part of the family. I consider you as my own and true brother. Thank you, William. I really do appreciate it, but I still want to know what happened to Uncle. I 
got to go now. We'll have another time to talk together. Just like we used to. Yeah. Just like we used to. Okay, so we got William, we got Julius, we got... Oh my gosh, I think... So Julius is dead, right? No? I can't tell. He's probably dead because of the night or whatever. Hmm. Wait, that's... Well, that's the teeth. That's ex that's why the, the teeth show out of the night. The knights are humans that had artifacts, and then the artifact took control of them. Victor. Mm, what voice did I do for Victor? Or have we even met Victor? I don't know. Um, I hope you understand what is happening to you. I couldn't get any clear answers from William, so I turned to see you. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is my consciousness. Or not my consciousness, but the thing. After all, you should know what is happening better than anyone. Am I right? Oh my gosh, it's me. Are you sure you want some answers? Yes. Yes, I do. Everyone wants answers for everything. Of course, nobody likes the unknown. I mean, some people do. Alright then. Listen carefully. Okay, so now 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 we're going into even more story mode here. The world is a dark place. I think everyone knew that. People are constantly in the in war against each other. There was a time when mankind almost went extinct by destroying their own world. World war? Oh, War after war, countries would use weapons of mass destruction on each other. Wow. World War One, World War Two, World War Three. To a point where the skies would be covered with clouds, bringing darkness upon the world, never letting life see the light. It is not history that repeats itself; it is men. Humanity really doesn't learn from its mistakes. Fatality. During that time, people were desperate for a solution. As they wished, a solution came to them. A solution that was meant to restore the balance between all living beings and the power between people. It wasn't a solution that could save all lives. In a time where there was no hope. Everything started a long time ago when a man understood the power of these godlike objects. These objects were the promised solution to mankind, to save them. These artifacts allow its wielder to control technology itself. With so much power, the man was able to conquer many nations by taking full control of their technology. He was the first and only man to collect all nine original artifacts. With all the power in his hands, he gave birth to the first World War Worldwide Empire. This empire had the largest fleet and army in the history of warfare. It was the first that the world saw the rise of a complete advanced joint army. There is nobody in this world that could stop him. Having this having the world at his knees, he proceeded to create even more artifacts. However, on the day of his mysterious disappearance, all artifacts were stolen and scattered across the world. Without the artifacts, the machines of the Great Empire weren't functional, which brought the end of his long reign. With the collapse of the worldwide empire, many small countries were formed. Some of them still exist today, such as Orda. However, there was one country among amongst all that was loyal to the Empire. That country was very different from the others because it, it has ha in its possession one of the lost artifacts. That country was Tyrana. It was a country ruled by a dictator who wanted to resurrect the fallen Empire. Tyrana had conquered in the past many of its neighboring nations to expand itself just like the Empire once did. Tyrana's goal was to find all the lost artifacts, since the knowledge of creating more artifacts died with the Empire. Tyrana's aggressive behavior towards other, country is at, other countries is at the origin of the fear the world has against it. 
because so many countries were afraid of Tyrna. Some of them are allied together to fight against a potential invasion. Thus the People Democra Democratic United Republic of Freedom was born. Although a free democracy in its origina original name, the UR became over time more and more of a dictatorship like Tyrana. Since then, the, s the two supernations had always been in conflict to possess to possess the lands in between that separated them. The UR was ruled by a group of rich aristocrats. Noble and still is to this day. Tyrana has always been ruled by the royal family of Ty Tyronsburg. The Tyronsburg family passes the artifact to the next to the next king to assure military force and control over the people. Since then, the goal of every ty Tyrano Tyron Nan Nana whatever ruler was to find the scattered artifacts of the empire. All had the same goal, but for different reasons. However, it, is, it all came with a huge price to pay. Any wielder of an artifact is bounded to sacrifice their humanity, hum, humanity to save the world. What does that? What does that even? <laughs> what does that even mean? When enough time will pass, you'll realize the fate that will condemn you to a path of darkness, a path that is unavoidable for the wielder. I already know my fate, and I have already accepted it a long time ago. I, I just want to know, why do I have to turn into a monster? You have received the power to control technology, only to then become what you control yourself. Every man obsessed with t total control over things, whatever they, whatever that might be, always end up turning into what they wanted to control over, and become the ones who are controlled by after. Edo. You need to realize that using the power of the artifact will consume your life force as an energy source for it. The artifacts act like mechanical parasites in your body. They want to expand themselves all over you and eventually take over your body. What happens when all my life force energy is gone? You know the answer. You've seen it back there with your own eyes. So this is an is my uh, unescapable fate, huh? There is a way out of this. What? Really? How? Please tell me. I'll tell you, but you might not like it. Please tell me. Instead of giving your life force an energy, don't you think you can steal it? Steal it? What do you mean, steal it? I mean, taking lives. What? I... I don't understand. Instead of letting the artifact consume your life force, haven't you thought of the possibility of using others' lives? Others' life? You mean... Killing other people to use their life force as an energy source for the artifact? instead of mine exactly i i can't do that it's wrong don't you think there don't you think there are certain types of people who don't deserve to live why not kill them killing people who don't deserve to live i i don't know are you a fool do you even know what it feels like to be consumed slowly do you even know what it feels like to be trapped in an entire void? Once your body is consumed by the artifact, your soul is trapped inside of it. Wait. You. You don't mean. Yes, I was just like you. A long time ago. Oh, this just did a plot twist. I mean, I kind of assumed because he looks like a person now, but yeah. I have a question. Why do you think these artifacts were created in the first place? Who knows? Artifacts are programmed to act like living parasites that consume life force energy of other living beings. Yet they are still machines. So what was their purpose? Everything created by men has a reason behind it. 
As a wielder, you should be the one to discover the reason why these devices have been created in the past. After all, once you find the answer, you'll have full control over it, and you'll be able to achieve your ultimate goal. Some believe it is the key to our salvation. I believe that I believe the artifacts were meant to destroy us all, as a punishment. Punishment? Man, mankind is too cruel. It is only natural that we must pay the ultimate price for our sins. We are bound to be destroyed. Wow. I, w I wonder. What is it? People like us, who have so much power to control things, only to become what we control ourselves. That is the fate that we have condemned ourselves to, a path of darkness, only to bring light for the rest of the world. What were people like us called already? Knights of Humanity. Wow. That was so much details to put in one little bit. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. And then Wolf shows up. Okay. I think I'm going to leave. I'm, I'm not sure how long this video is. It might be a shorter video. It might be a longer video. I'm not fully sure. Um, but... I hope you dogs enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new to become part of the dog pack. Peace out, and ow!